Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome. And I hope you'll find this video helpful for you and somehow entertaining. Uh, before anything else, I hope and pray for everyone's safety. So guys, please stay at home. And yeah, so today I am going to use a new medium. It is called gouache. And it's my first time to use this. Um, I got this set from um my husband uh, the brand name is as you can see Himi all right so this was a gift anniversary gift actually from my husband so this is so special and since this is uh, so special I want to fill these with nice and relaxing scenery I'd say places I would want to go with my family um I'm so excited with this cute pink watercolor sketchbook um it's kind of hard to open i wasn't just using caesar i should have used caesar right um yeah so anyway as i opened this one i was anticipating that it's gonna be like my regular sketchbook um and it is nice i really really like it um i like the color it's so cute and yeah let's open it let's take a look Um, so by the way, this sketchbook is by or from um, Paul Rubens. Um, as you can see, this is a different kind of um, sketchbook for me. I never had something like this before. It looked like it's it's kind of hard to open. And it is. I was trying to pull out a sheet and start painting. And... I was having a hard time. I was trying to figure it out. And there you go. Um, I saw there's a little uh, space there. And I just started to look around it, see if there's other way to pull out a sheet without messing it up or without ruining my sketchbook. Um, but I could say the quality of the paper seems nice. Um, I am very hopeful that this one is going to be really, really nice. Um, for the price, uh, I think it's... Because I looked it up. I think that the price is is fair. Fairly uh, reasonable. There you go. I finally figured it out. And... I think every time I would uh, paint gouache or watercolor with this sketchbook, I'll have to do this. So, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to um, tell you first about the, the gouache uh, before we start painting. So, I really, really like this one. Um, it seems to me that, or it, it looks like they're very vibrant and i am also expecting it to or my wish is for it to be vibrant like um gouache is supposed to be like in between of acrylic and watercolor so this is so exciting um yeah look at this it's kind of creamy um so i just uh picked the colors that i think i'd need for my painting today and opened each of them so basically i played with the greens because i'm going to be painting a landscape with some um water element on it not water element but it's um it's just a lot of trees and i'm thinking some some water uh maybe a stream or uh, a cute um river and yeah um now i am going to get those paints and see if there's other colors that i would want to add of course the yellows very very important for me when i make trees different tones of yellows they're really really helpful um yeah so i got the the yellow orange bright uh or no, it's like bright yellow and yellow orange 
and this one is I, I feel like this one looks like um uh yellow oh care for me uh i wasn't sure because it's written in chinese so it's really hard to tell the name of each color so i basically just looking at it and guessing based on my experience and i use a lot of acrylic so i thought well maybe they're the same you know yeah so whites and and blacks i added those colors so right now i have uh eight colors i believe yeah eight colors and now what i'm doing is adding drafting tape i really prefer using this one um i just i just want clean edges after and you know not worry about it later so this is optional it's up to you if you want to use this or not um some people just want to just uh, fill the entire page i'm not i prefer putting drafting tapes around my my paper and it's kind of sort of like instant frame after painting and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start painting um i'm going to fast forward it you can pause it if you want to follow along feel free to to do so and yeah um enjoy the music as well all right see you later Bye.
we're done. So yeah, this is my favorite part, uh, peeling off the drafting tape. I really like this part because I can see the clean edges now. See how nice it looks after having a messy painting session. So yeah, um, I like that it has a very nice and clean lines around it. Though this one, the other one, yeah, I think it leaked a little bit, but that's fine. It's still nice to me. And I hope you like this video. Um, I think I finished this without fast forwarding it um, within less than an hour. So if you want to practice painting, this is really nice. It's just a loose kind of painting, less, less details, but I really, really like it. So yeah, try it and distress. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!